Hello, my name is Arnie Johansson. I'm the co-founder of Sabersoft and one of the creators of Pinfish. Uh, I'd like to show you some cool new stuff on the new Windows platform today, uh, Windows Vista, and show you how we adapted our uh, application Pinfish to take advantage of the cool new user interface improvements in Windows. Uh, also, I'll be talking a bit about how we overcame certain technical difficulties during our development. Uh, basically, we'll be showing you uh, a codename version of Pinfish called Pentafish, which we made for Microsoft UK, which they could use in some of their demonstrations and uh, demonstrations of the new Windows platform. So, the first thing I'm going to be showing here today is the new visual style in Windows Vista called Aero Glass. Uh, this is a very cool new Windows style which uh, relies heavily on your 3D graphics card to uh, produce some very neat effects. Uh, the first window I'm going to be showing you is an all glass window which you can get through the sidebar here. Uh, the sidebar is like a new gadgets toolbar for your desktop where you have a lot of cool tools. I'll be going through our own little gadget a bit later. Uh, first of all, let's check out the, the new all glass window style. Let's see here. I'll click on that and then we bring it up here. As you can see, this window is completely transparent. I can pull it across other windows and uh, it has some pretty nice looking icons going there. Uh, Microsoft basically implemented some excellent kick ass PNG support, which enables you to have some very cool shaded icons on windows. Anyway, before we move any further, I'd like to first introduce what Pentafish is all about. Pentafish is a media grabber which integrates in your browser and, well, other places in Windows and enables you to save uh, movies and images from any, from any website for download in the background. Uh, as you can see here, we have a toolbar in the browser which has this cool grab menu. You can see you can grab pictures on this page, you can grab linked pictures, or you can grab movies that are linked on that from that page, or pretty much any other file type you can think of. Then we have some other features over here in the control menu. You can show the download folder and open our download manager and get some help and stuff. But one of the most important things would be our download would be the download manager itself. I'll just click here and bring it up. This is our background download manager. As you can notice already now, we have a lot of glass going on in the window here, as this is what Microsoft wanted us to do pretty much with our special version for Vista to show off some of the user interface features. Down in the progress bar here, we have some uh, labels on top of the glass, and if you can make it out, you can see that we have some glow going on around the the, the static controls there, which uh, improves a lot on readability when you have stuff uh, going on on glass. Now let's just close down the download manager here. I can just show you real quick uh, how the new uh, Flip 3D uh, functionality in Arrow works, which is a very cool 3D way of uh, switching between windows. Uh, instead of Alt tapping, you just press Windows button tab, and then you get this screen, which is pretty excellent. I would say this is a, a very nice eye candy feature of Windows Vista. Now to just give you a good feel uh, for how uh, Pinfish actually works, let's try and grab some pictures on this page here. As you can see, we highlight the pictures in the browser and then the download manager pops up immediately and starts downloading your stuff. And uh, this is pretty much the basis for uh, our, the concept of our application. Now let's dig a bit deeper and see what other cool stuff we made for Windows Vista. The first thing I'm going to show you here is the new Task Dialog API interface, which is a cool way of showing quick information to the user. As you can see, this is how it looks. And uh, this is like a very standard message box kind of thing for Windows Vista, which is a vast improvement over the older stuff we had on previous Windows versions. Of course Microsoft didn't just uh, make everything look pretty, they also improved a lot on the functionality of the of the system itself. Uh, I'm going to show you the new uh, open dialog in Windows Vista here. And this, as you can clearly see, it looks, uh, looks a bit different than uh, older Windows versions. Let's try and load a slap file here, which is our own custom share format. See I'm downloading a big file here, which might take a little time. So I try and press skip. And what I get, as you can see down at the bottom there, the progress bar changes color. This is also a new addition to Windows Vista where you can change the progress bar color to show a status to the user. I'm going to do another test here with a slap file that errors out and as you can see uh, the progress bar turns red. I of course can't just show the open dialog without showing the save dialog so I'm just going to show you how I'm going to save a little download list here, some flowers I found online. Alright, 
And then we get the dialog here, and as you can see, it's collapsed per default, so uh, to provide a more simpler interface to the user. And all right, we're going to call it Flower, save that on desktop. All right, and there we go. Another window we adapted to the new Arrow Glass style was our little thumbnail viewer, which is a pretty cool window. Uh, this is a, a window that shows progress whilst you download in the background. And as you can see here, whilst I'm downloading, it can uh, fade between thumbnails, uh, which is a pretty neat feature. The next thing I'm going to show you in this whole uh, glass montage is how our application handles the window message DWM composition changed. Uh, if you have glass in your application, you have to be able to handle this message as uh, Windows Vista runs in two modes, Arrow Glass and uh, Vista Basic, well Windows Vista Arrow or Windows Vista Basic. Uh, and this means that uh, if you run an application which is incompatible with Arrow Glass, uh, the operating system will automatically switch to the Basic mode. So let's try that out. As you can see the window flickers a little bit and then we get this bubble down in our notification area. Now let's try and switch it back. And there you go, now we're back to the old glass style. The way I provoked this behavior was simply by running an application that was incompatible with the arrow glass style. Another neat thing I wanted to show you which we did for Windows Vista was that we can monitor the power level on uh, on your computer, for example, if you're uh, if you're running on a laptop computer, uh, we can actually monitor the power level and then take appropriate action in a, in our application. So uh, I'm just going to demonstrate this here. I'm going to open open a slap file here, and there we go. Our downloader is is downloading happily away. Uh, to demonstrate this, we made a special uh, small application here called Power Tweaker, which basically sends messages to our downloader window simulating that the power level is falling. So you can pull this down here and BAM! You see we get a window pops up, downloading stop due to low battery power. If you're an application developer you can uh, read, more, uh, read more about this feature uh, on our website pentafish.com where we have links to our lead developers uh, articles on Core Project where he writes uh, a very thorough article about how you, how you uh, integrate power uh, monitoring into your application. The last thing I'd like to go through here is our uh, cool sidebar gadget. What we basically did was that we made a small gadget that can download RSS feeds from YouTube, list them in a nice little list as you can see here, uh, where people can click on the title to open the YouTube page, or simply click on grab. Let's try to click on grab here. Bam, you see the downloader opens up and we start downloading the file. Um, just to demonstrate how we uh, utilize new uh, built-in RSS handling in, uh, in Internet Explorer 7. We'll just change to another feed here. Let's change to um, most viewed today. See our gadget is downloading the feed. Bam, it's listed. And now we can just click on, yeah, well, next to any file pretty much to download, download the video. And there we go, we're downloading some YouTube video. Let's just close that and check out the last feature which will be opening the download manager. Pretty basic feature but it's nice to have in there. Uh, I hope I got you all excited about the new upcoming Windows Vista and uh, gave you a little sneak preview on how our next version of Pimpfish will look like which will of course be Windows Vista certified. Uh, you can read up uh, about all of this stuff on our website and get some links uh, to some technical uh, guides on how to do some of this stuff on your own.